Good day to everybody. Uh, today I am going to discuss about the role of starter culture in fermentation. So today our topic of discussion is role of role of starter culture. in fermentation so first of all i one by one i will discuss all these things in details uh, what is fermentation and what is starter culture uh, first of one uh, first of all i want to discuss about the starter uh, fermentation what is fermentation fermentation is a metabolic process in which the carbohydrate and related uh, materials uh, is oxidized uh, with the liberation release of energy uh, in absence of electron acceptors. This is the uh, basic definition of fermentation. Fermentation what happened? The carbohydrate mainly glucose is oxidized to produce some end product oxidized to and with some release with release of some energy this is called fermentation so fermentation uh, are uh, the different types of fermentation are generally um, occurred in uh, so generally four types of fermentation are present four types of fermentation Number one is the lactic acid fermentation. Number two, acetic acid fermentation. Number three, alcohol fermentation number 4 butyric acid fermentation fermentation first of all uh, before going to this uh, uh, different types of fermentation why we are doing the fermentation and uh, fermented milk products are very popular why we are uh, producing the fermented milk product actually milk is a very perishable uh, commodity so uh, there are some reasons uh, that there are some points to be uh, we are why we are going for fermentation of milk dairy product or a milk or any product uh, food product first one is the it is very easier to produce the fermented product second point is the be better keeping quality we can preserve this uh, milk or this for food products for long time by fermentation and it is a better uh, it will can produce several types of uh, acids different types of acids it can produce different types of uh, flavoring uh, compounds and it is a better digestibility in fermentation what is happened uh, actually the uh, uh, bigger molecule like uh, carb carbohydrate like uh, disaccharide polysaccharide oligosaccharide uh, and uh, protein and the uh, fat will be converted into um, uh, uh, converted into uh, different acids uh, simple as sugars, different acids, simple as sugars, amino acids and fatty acid. So it will be very easy to digest. It is a um, one step ahead for digestion. So the, the, it is a better, better digestibility and better nutri nutritive value also. The fermented milk product has better nutritive value because some of the uh, bacteria used or bacteria or microorganism used for fermentation are producing also some vitamins like that vitamin b vitamins like uh, vitamin b12 uh, 
uh, folate like that so it will be uh, nutritive value will be increased so uh, for that reason and uh, of the fermentation fermented milk and it is a better uh, also the possible therapeutic values uh, when we are discussing about the probiotic bacteria we have already told that this uh, lactic acid bacteria and probiotic bacteria have some health beneficial effects it can alleviate the diarrhea constipation and uh, lactose intolerance like diseases so it will be very helpful for our health so some possible uh, health uh, therapeutic value will also present in this fermented milk product or food product so this fermented milk product are very uh, the uh, interest for this fermented milk products are going day by day uh, awareness uh, among uh, customers is are growing day by day yeah, uh, uh, regarding this uh, fermented milk product and fermented food product so this is the the first uh, uh, fermentation is the uh, first type of fermentation is the lactic acid fermentation i have already told in my previous uh, uh, video that uh, lactose is converted in this uh, fermentation lactose is converted into lactic acid by some bacteria this is called lactic acid fermentation lactic acid fermentation lactose will be converted into lactic acid by this mainly lactic acid by this fermentation process so lactose uh, lactose mainly it is uh, lactose will be converted into first, firstly mainly glucose will be converted into lactic acid first of lactose will be converted by beta galactosidase enzyme um, into glucose and galactose and this galactose will be converted into lactic acid finally so uh, and uh, starter culture and microorganism are involved in this process and uh, um, uh, so uh, lactic acid fermentation is like that but lactic acid fermentation are mainly of two types uh, lactic acid fermentation are mainly of two types mm. One is called this lactic acid fermentation are mainly two types. One is called uh, homolactic fermentation. Homolactic fermentation, and another is the heterolactic fermentation. Heterolactic fermentation. in homolactic fermentation what is happened actually in homolactic fermentation it is uh, glucose will be converted into pyruvate yeah, by glycolysis pathway pathway and this pyruvate is ultimately converted into lactic acid by anaerobic respiration lactic acid by anaerobic respiration and this end product of this fermentation is only lactic acid the, from glucose we only get lactic acid in the homolactic fermentation and what happened in the heterolactic fermentation heterolactic fermentation we will get several types of end products uh, along with lactic acid in the heterolactic fermentation so why heterolactic fermentation what happened uh, glucose is converted into pyruvate by glycolysis pathway metabolic pathway or EMP pathway, pathway uh, and this pyruvate will be converted into uh, uh, succinic acid succinic acid and uh, lactic acid this pyruvate is also converted into acetyl coenzyme a acetyl coenzyme a and uh, formic acid formic acid and this acetyl coenzyme a coenzyme a will be ultimately converted into ethanol ethanol acetic acid 
and formic acid will be ultimately converted into carbon dioxide and H2 gas. For in heterolactic fermentation, you can see that the, there are so many end products along with succinic acid, lactic acid, acid, acid uh, ethanol and acetic acid and CO2 also gas production will be there. So heterolactic fermentation, there will be gas production. So there are two types of lactic acid fermentation. We have discussed about that. Now uh, we are going to the second uh, fermentation process, which is called um, which is called the uh, acetic acid fermentation. In acidic acid fermentation, what happened? This carbohydrate or glucose will be first will be converted by the uh, yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae to ethanol. And the, uh, it is a two stage fermentation process, acidic acid fermentation. And this then after that, this ethanol will be converted by converted into uh, acetic acid final product by some acetobacter species bacteria aerobically. And um, uh, this is uh, acetic acid production man means vinegar production. In vinegar, generally 5 to 8 percent acetic acid is uh, present. Uh, you all know the use of vinegar. So I uh, don't uh, uh, go to this point. Uh, uh, so we uh, directly come to the third point, uh, which is uh, alcohol fermentation. In, uh, in generally vinegar 5 to 8 percent acetic acid will be present and alcohol fermentation what happened alcohol same glucose 6 is H12O6 H12O6 will be converted into C2H5OH ethanol and CO2. In case of bread baker yeast like Saccharomyces cerevisiae also converted the uh, glucose into ethanol and CO2 in any beer wine production and uh, um, this type of fermentation alcohol fermentation uh, uh, is occurred and uh, is happened. So you know that um, the beer production generally Saccharomyces yeast Saccharomyces uh, cerevisiae and Saccharomyces calcibandiensis are used in a production of wine generally Saccharomyces ellipsoidus is used. So there are so, so many yeast are used and they here the enzyme is responsible for this one of the enzyme responsible for this conversion is the gymase which is produced by the uh, yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So this is the alcohol fermentation all about alcohol fermentation you know the importance of alcohol fermentation and now we come to the point fourth point. Uh, fourth uh, fermentation butyric acid fermentation butyric acid fermentation butyric acid fermentation here also the sugar will be uh, sugar uh, uh, glucose glucose will be converted into butyric acid by some uh, obligate anaerobic bacteria uh, like clostridium butyricum or clostridium cluveri or clostridium barkeri the so many uh, anaerobic bacteria can convert this uh, glucose into butyric acid ultimately. So these are all about the four types of fermentation generally um, happened in our system. Now uh, we are talking about the uh, fermentation we have discussed actually fermentation is a metabolic process by which the, the the energy will be produced in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So now we come to the point, uh, we are, now we have understood the what is actually fermentation and different types of fermentation. Now we come to the point, the starter culture. What is starter culture? Starter culture is nothing but a uh, carefully selected desirable microorganisms which are intentionally added to milk or cream or any food product hmm, uh, uh, to 
uh, initiate and accomplish the desired fermentation. Why, uh, why it is called starter culture? Because it initiates the fermentation process of uh, uh, converting glucose to lactic acid. That's why it is called mainly, uh, that's why it is called, uh, um, it is called the uh, starter culture. Why? So they start the fermentation process and accomplish and complete the uh, fermentation process. So, uh, simultaneously it will bring about the um, uh, characteristic change uh, in body appearance texture of the finished uh, final product. So, uh, the, so these starter cultures are uh, different types of starter cultures are generally present and uh, the types of starter cultures depending upon the composition of the starter culture it is a uh, it may be uh, uh, we know that it may be bacteria yeast or mold so different types of starter cultures are one number one is the depending on the composition single strain structure starter culture single strain starter culture mixed strain starter culture mixed strain starter culture and third one is the multiple strain starter culture now we uh, try to understand what is the meaning of the single strain starter culture single strain starter culture means only one bacteria one type of bacteria will be present in the, the starter culture for the fermentation process like uh, uh, lactococcus laxtis or lactococcus cremoris uh, any type of only one type of uh, single strain starter culture should be present and they are very susceptible to fungi attack because there are um, no other uh, starter culture will be strain strain of starter culture will be present microorganism will be present so uh, while the um, starter culture single starter culture will be attacked by the fudge then the your complete comp uh, fermentation process will be stopped there so the, this is, is one of the uh, big advantage of the uh, big disadvantage of this single strain starter culture now mixed strain starter culture two or more uh, strain of microorganism or bacteria will be uh, when will be used then it is called mixed strain starter culture and if there, there is the advantage of mixed strain starter culture if one strain of starter culture will be uh, strain will be uh, affected by the attacked by the fudge other strain will continue the uh, fermentation process or uh, production of acid so uh, your uh, fermentation process will not be completely stopped due to the attack of fudge because fudge is a very strain specific one it will attack only one specific strain not other strain so uh, this is the mixed strain starter culture and multiple strain starter culture is the it is a or uh, 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 definite version of uh, or improved version of uh, mixed strain starter culture here we know every uh, strain of starter culture very well they are uh, compatibility they are uh, compatibility with the each other with the strain of the uh, composition of the um, uh, composition of the starter culture and they are non fudge um, related related uh, they should not be attacked by fudge we know that they should not be attacked by fudge they will be fudge resistant and uh, uh, their number will be we know the number and we will get a consistent product uh, throughout our production this is the advantage of multiple strain starter culture if uh, we, we can say that this is the not the types of the starter culture we can rather say that it is the evolution of starter culture we are gradually developed the better form of starter culture uh, in the form of multiple strain starter culture and in the new zealand and uh, in india also now the multiple strain starter culture is used those uh, uh, manufacturers are producing starter culture for the production of fermented milk product or any fermented product they are very well aware of the they do the research 
to know the characteristic and the um, what is the types of the sort of culture they are fudge relation they are compatibility compatibility means uh, one strain can produce some bacteriocin which can be which can retard the, uh, the growth of the other strain like lactococcus lactis subspecies lactis will produce the nicin type of bacteriocin which can retard the growth of the uh, lactococcus lactis subspecies cremoris so uh, there should not be a, they should be compatible where whatever the uh, starter cultures we are using stains are using in the multiple strain strain culture we know that they are very compatible and they are very fudge resistant and they will give us the uh, and their number will be also very definite we know that how how much amount of uh, we are mixing this strain in the multiple strain starter culture and we are getting the uh, um, consistent product in mixed strain starter culture what happened actually in this case the one strain uh, when the fermentation will uh, carry on uh, will uh, proceed uh, one strain will be dominant uh, do dominated by the another strain dominant strain so uh, at the end of the production we will get the only one starter will be will survive which will be dominant so this is the factor we have to uh, consider this so we can tell this this it, uh, it will be we can tell it will be rather that uh, it, will, it is the evolution of starter culture rather than the types of starter culture now types of starter culture on the basis of the temperature uh, growth temperature of the particular microorganism there are two generally two types of starter culture are generally used in the market one is the uh, mesophilic starter culture mesophilic starter culture whose growth temperature is generally 20 to 30 degree centigrade and another is the thermophilic static starter culture thermophilic starter culture which growth temperature is generally more than 40 degree centigrade at least 40 degree centigrade will be required for that and their optimum growth temperature of this thermophilic starter culture is the 50 to 55 degree centigrade thermophilic means they are th uh, temperature loving uh, bacteria so that's why this is depending on this uh, temperature on the growth temperature they are de mainly divided in the mesophilic starter culture and thermophilic starter culture in the mesophilic starter culture the starter, starter cultures are generally lactococcus lactis subspecies lactis lactococcus lactis subspecies cremoris and the leuconostoc citrobonum and leuconostoc destanicum lactococcus lactis subspecies diacetyl lactis they are the mainly mesophilic starter culture and it is it has been seen that the aroma producing bacteria are generally under this category and uh, here the uh, fermentation process um, for incubation generally 16 to 18 hours will be required and this thermophilic culture is the high growth temperature as a high growth temperature so they, they are like lactobacillus bulgaricus lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus helveticus they are the thermophilic starter streptococcus thermophilus also and uh, this starter culture uh, in, in, in present recent uh, in uh, nowadays the industry are generally using this type of thermophilic starter culture because it will take less time lesser time to five to six hour for fermentation process to complete so uh, we will get from commercial point of view we will get the product faster than the mesophilic starter culture but it is uh, observed that the most of the aroma producing bacteria like leuconostoc citroborum leuconostoc dextanicum and leuco lactococcus lactis suspicis diacetylaxis are generally mesophilic they are growing at lower temperature so maybe with the flavor will not be like that when the mesophilic starter culture but the industrial point of view it is very beneficial from economic point of view it is very beneficial so nowadays all that starter culture are devious culture direct batch test culture where the uh, culture concentration is at least 10 to the power 11 gram uh, cfu per gram we are getting from this devious culture means 
डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट भेट स्टेट श्रेष्ठ कल्चर नथिंग वी हैव टू डू हेयर वी ओनली लो टेम्परेचर स्टोर लाइफ्यूलाइज और फ्रिज डाइट कल्चर विल बी काट here and we have to pour it in the at the level, particular temperature in the inoculation vat of the milk and we will get the fermentation accordingly so the, it is a very easy process and we get the is concentrated form of uh, microorganisms here there that 10 to the power 11 cfu gram but here the process freeze drying process or any um, spray drying process the some culture will be dyed but so the viability will be very important so viability uh, generally uh, 50% viability we will get from here so if we uh, the 10 to the power 11 count will be there so 50% uh, if the 50% of the uh, we get then uh, what happened uh, uh, only uh, 0.5 uh, 0.5 into 10 to the power 11 it is also high high in the uh, where the traditional method of starter culture production like from stock culture mother culture working culture and the ultimately bulk culture we will get a, um, maximum 10 to the power 7 7 but in this advantage of this in this dbs culture we are getting at least 10 to the power 11 cf gram with viability of 50% we also getting the high count here so it is very beneficial and we have, don't have to uh, no don't need the microbiological expertise here to maintain the culture the purity and other things there so it is very and we will get the uniform product the industry uh, industries are now generally using this type of starter culture from reputed brand of manufacturer of starter culture now this is the thing and uh, mesophilic culture uh, the, there are uh, some sub types of mesophilic culture is there uh, depending on the aroma bacteria present there sub types of mesophilic culture is there one is a is the, um, the, the bd type bd type aroma producer bacteria present like uh, i am discussing about that aroma bacteria present here aroma producing bacteria b is the b type aroma producing bacteria and c is the o type o type means there is no aroma producing bacteria b d type means b means uh, b means uh, leuconostoc uh, species leuconostoc species and d means the uh, lactococcus lactis subspecies diacetyl lactis both are present in the b d type uh, aroma producing type sub type of so uh, mesophilic starter culture and b types means only the leuconostoc species will be present no diacetyl lactis will be present there and o type means uh, totally absent of this two uh, flavor uh, aroma producing bacteria aroma producing bacteria are generally doing what they are producing the diacetyl from citrate their ability to produce the diacetyl from citrate so uh, uh, this is the uh, main type of Uh, starter culture i have discussed about that and what is starter culture i have discussed already discussed about that now so, some of the uh, what is the scenario uh, day by day the fermentation the demand for fermentation products is increasing now uh, in 2022 uh, the us dollar the market of fermentation uh, fermented dairy product is us dollar 4920 0.5 million it is quite high in 2022 and it will be expected to 2032 it will be increased to us dollar 11125.2 million dollar us dollar so uh, this will be increased uh, doubled it will be uh, more than double and with the uh, 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 compound c uh, compound annual growth rate cgr cagr expected will be 8.5% it is quite high so uh, compound annual growth rate of 8.5% will be expected in 2032 and 2016 to 2021 this is the historic year for 
historic period for um, uh, fermented milk product because there is a growth of CGP, CAGR means compound uh, annual growth rate of 8.1% was achieved at this period. So this is the historical period for the fermented. Uh, day by day the fermented milk products demands are increasing. Uh, customers are more aware of this fact, the health beneficial effect of the fermented milk and uh, so it is increasing day by day. There is no doubt about that. And uh, so, so many uh, organizations and so many uh, institutes are trying uh, conducting some types of webinars and uh, so using the social media to uh, develop the awareness among the customers uh, regarding the fermented benefits of the fermented milk. So now the, there are so many fermented milks are present in the, um, uh, there are so many fermented First of all, I, uh, I am discussing of the fermented milk and then the microflora present in the product. First of all, our very uh, indigenous uh, popular product is dahi. Dahi, uh, the microflora generally is present are uh, uh, Lactococcus lactis. Streptococcus thermophilus. I am writing in short because there is a, a scarcity of time, so that I am writing in short. You should uh, uh, real. Uh, you should uh, understand it. Uh, Streptococcus thermophilus, Lactobacillus, Lacto Lactococcus, uh, lact Lactobacillus bulgaricus, Lactobacillus plantarum are generally used in this case and uh, their second one is the yogurt yogurt is a very interesting product uh, fermented dairy product here streptococcus thermophilus and uh, streptococcus thermophilus and uh, lactobacillus bulgaricus are generally used as starter culture here And they are used as a one is to one ratio, I mean, same ratio they are using in this case. And they are interesting uh, part of this yogurt production is the streptococcus thermophilus lactobacillus bulgaricus are used. And they are used in one is to one ratio uh, as quantity wise. And uh, they are um, uh, living in the fermented milk product yogurt. A, a, a symbiotic condition. Symbiotic means uh, they are living in a, a very um, a mutual understanding or helping uh, mode. Like uh, um, uh, this uh, uh, streptococcus thermophilus will produce some amino acid like glutamic acid proline which will help